Today I'm going to show you how I built a custom center console for my 1988 Toyota pickup and turned this into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In case you missed it, in the last video I started with some sheet metal, cardboard, and an idea. I was able to come up with a design that I was happy with and I think it complements the interior pretty well. Today, I plan to get the mounts and upholstery done, which should complete this project. I'm getting started with the mounts, and then once I'm happy with the fit, I'll take care of the upholstery. So now I'm just test fitting the center console in the truck and there's a couple of things I need to do before I can move forward. So the first thing is that I definitely need to cut more space in my twin stick area so that these can shift forward and backward without being obstructed by the metal here. So I know I need to cut a little bit farther forward here and make the slots a little bit wider so that they can go unrestricted. Another thing is that in the last video, I said I wasn't sure about the way that I made the holes for the transfer case and the shifter, and that I kind of wanted to just cut the whole thing out and run the factory shift boot. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I need to cut out this area, and I need to enlarge this area before I can move forward. And another thing is that all of that work that I just did, let me get this thing out of the way, all of that work that I just did on the mounts, I'm actually going to scrap it because I came up with a way better solution, which is going to be installing a thread cert or a nut cert into these factory holes in this uh, shift bezel area. You see that one doesn't have one in there yet. And then I'm just going to run a one inch spacer between this and the shift bezel or center console and then just bolt it in that way. That's a way easier solution. The whole reason why I had to do it in the first place is because this is two inches wider than that mounting location so i made those brackets but you know when i came in here and i started to look at this as the way it seems to always go uh, i found an easier way to do it the first time i cut these holes out i used a dremel and the grinding bit exploded right in my face luckily i was wearing eye protection as i do with any tool that spins at an extremely high rpm and throws metal but this time i'm just using a hole saw and a grinder to make it easier and faster again i'm just using the tools that i have Nothing fancy here. It was a last minute decision to use a hole saw to get nice rounded corners, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Looks pretty good though, I'm happy with it. All right, just wanted to give you guys an update of where I'm leaving off for the day. These kind of projects typically don't take me one day to finish. They take several days. I'm no expert in metal fab, so maybe one day I can bang something out like this in a couple of hours, but for now, it takes a couple of days. I spent way too much time over analyzing those mounts earlier when I could have just, you know, installed the nut cert like I showed you guys and install a longer bolt and a spacer. So with that said, here's what I got done today. I got the entire center console area here for the shifter and the transfer case cut out and I also expanded the holes for the transfer case shifters here. I really wish this is something that I did from the beginning. It looks a lot cleaner, it makes a lot more room and I don't have to worry about forcing those rubberized boots through those tiny squares that I made like I planned to do in the past. And this also allows me to install a factory shift boot, so all I would have to do is take one of these and glue it into the bottom of my center console here. And you can see it looks 
really good. I think this looks about a million times better than what I was planning to do. And when I get this thing upholstered, it'll look even better. It'll hide the hard metal edge on the side of that shifter there. I actually kind of like the way the metal looks, but I think I'll like it more if I upholster it. So tomorrow I'm going to work on finalizing the mounts because I still have to drill the hole in the center console and then mount it in the truck and make sure that everything can shift and move without obstruction. Once that's done, all I have to do is upholster it and install the shift boot, and I should be done. So I'll get back at this tomorrow. First thing I'm doing today is building the rear mount. This is going to be pretty simple, just a basic bracket that's going to secure the console to the truck. I decided to use aluminum here because I don't need to be making this out of eighth inch steel for a piece of sheet metal that weighs less than a pound, and it's easier to work with. I don't know, I'm just learning as I go here. So much easier than steel. Wow. Believe it or not, I got a cleaner cut with that than a grinder. I'm using nut certs for the bracket. They're basically just a rivet that allows you to put threads into any material. This is especially useful when you're working with thin metal that won't allow you to cut threads. The rear mount is done and this is basically just gonna sit right here using this existing hole in the shift boot for my twin sticks. And the reason why I slotted it is because I didn't know exactly where I needed to put this hole. So I just made it so that it's adjustable. So that's gonna sit right there. And then the center console will sit over it and bolt in with these two holes that I drilled on either side of the center console. As for the front, I need to just drill out this other side and install a nut cert just like I did here. And then it's as simple as locating where I need to drill holes in the center console and then mounting it in the truck. Once it's mounted in there, I just need to shift it and make sure there's no issues. And if there are no problems, then I can get started on the upholstery. All right, guys, the center console is installed and mounted in the cab. I'm honestly really happy with how this turned out. The mounts worked great. This thing is super secure. It's not going anywhere. And I have enough room for all my 5,000 shifters to shift into gear with no issues whatsoever. It's a little tight right here. I might do a little bit more grinding right there. But basically what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work on upholstering this. So that's either going to go really well or it's going to go really bad, but I want to at least give it a shot. So let's go ahead and see how it goes. I bought some random heavy duty vinyl from Amazon and decided I was just going to glue it to my center console with spray adhesive. It may look like I know what I'm doing here, but I don't. I'm just winging it and tracing the fabric and leaving a lot of excess material seemed like a good idea. Bad. The carpet back there is a piece of shit out of the Forerunner. So we have this front area tacking up right now. I'll fold this over. We should be done with most of the vinyl. This is all dirty right now, of course, because it's been laying on my little workbench here. The other thing is that we had to tuck the corners here in order to like get a clean edge on this side. And I'm gonna mix some epoxy just to get this area here to uh, you know fold down cleaner because that is where I put one of the mounts for the back bracket, and that's gonna get in the way.
All right, so I'm mostly done with the upholstery now. I just have some clamps holding things in place so that things don't move around and just allowing the adhesive to set. I have a little bit of epoxy back here just attaching the ears of the fabric on the left and right side just to kind of make it stronger, I guess. I'm just kind of playing around with it. As for the shift boot, as I mentioned before, I'm just going to be using a factory shift boot here. And there's a little metal ring on the inside of it that kind of keeps this thing structured, I guess. And I'm gonna cut the metal ring out and then I'm gonna use this fabric right here to attach on the bottom side of the bezel right there. I think it should work fine, and I think it will look really good. When you're buying one of these shift boots, you have to be really careful about which one you buy. A lot of the sellers on eBay and Amazon are sewing them backwards, meaning the shifter is angled off to the right and the transfer case is off to the left, effectively the complete opposite of what you need. Make sure the orientation is correct. I'm using some epoxy on the shift boot just to make sure that it never moves again. The adhesive is great for something like the vinyl because it just stays in place, but since I'll be shifting constantly and this shift boot will be moving too, I figured I could use the extra insurance. All right guys, the center console is installed and here is the final result. I'm honestly really happy and kind of shocked with how this turned out. I, I didn't expect it to look this good at all. I kind of expected this project to go south basically immediately and then I'd have to scrap the video, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Unfortunately, it didn't cover my mistake from when I cut the vinyl flooring too low, but that's okay. I didn't build the center console to fix that. I built it because I didn't have a center console in the first place. So I have a feeling I'm gonna get questions on two things. One of them is going to be why didn't I put any cup holders in it? And the reason is there's nowhere to put a cup holder in this. With the dual cases you lose the cup holder space and I could build like a more like a storage area back here and then put the cup holders in that but there's a guy on Instagram his name's Caribou Off-Road and he builds cup holders that go into the ashtray right here. As you can see, I don't have an ashtray right there so it would work perfectly and that's probably what I'm going to do. The second thing that I'm sure I'm going to get asked is why didn't I build a storage unit behind it? Uh, I just kind of don't feel like I need it. I might do it. I have an ammo can here that I could install and make some sort of storage unit there if I needed to. If that's something that you guys would like me to do in a future video, either using an ammo can or finding a center console from a different truck, let me know. Maybe I'll do it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for following along on this project. And hopefully this was helpful if this is something that you're thinking about doing, but you haven't hopped into yet because you weren't sure that you had the skill or the tools or something like that. As you saw, I hopped into this with no prior experience building a center console out of sheet metal, and I didn't really have any special tools, and it turned out pretty good. So if you're thinking about trying something like this, I recommend you just hop in and try it. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Man.
maxed out, put the 